Hey guys, my name is Clive and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to teach you how to apply the cinematic lens flare or light leaks effect to your video. This is a very simple overlay effect that will surely give your video that fun and interesting look. But before anything else, please don't forget to like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Please also check out my other Filmora tutorial videos. I will post the links on the description down below. All right, are you ready for this? Let's head over to Filmora 10. All right guys, welcome to Filmora. So step one is basically you need to drag your video to the timeline. And then let's proceed to the next step. Step two is go to effects. And now we're going to search for the cinematic flare or light leaks effect. Simply go to search and type in cinematic. And there you have it. There you could see the different um, a variety of cinematic flares. Or you could also search for light leaks. There you go. So the good thing about Filmora is they provided you a variety of cinematic flare or light leaks effect to choose from. So you just basically have to choose among all these effects which you think is appropriate and ideal for your video. So for this video, I think I'm going to use Light Leak 5. All right, let's proceed to step three, which is applying the effect. Now there are two approaches as to how you're going to apply this effect. Now option one is you can directly drag the Light Leak effect to your video. Or option two, you can directly put the light leak effect on top of your video. So it kind of works the same way. So I personally like to see it on top of my video so I could monitor and see what's going on in my editing process. So that's just basically a preference for me. Either way, you can directly drag it to video or you can put it on top of your video. It's gonna achieve the same look and it's gonna achieve the same effect. Now, if the cinematic flare or light leak effect is overpowering your video, you can adjust the transparency of the effect by doing this. Double click the effect. And as you could see on the upper left section of the software, you could see light leak five and you could see alpha. Now you could adjust the transparency of the video and make it look less transparent and it's less overbearing or less overpowering to the whole video. Now, if you don't want to use the cinematic flare or light leaks effect provided by Filmora and you have your own cinematic flare or light leaks effect, you can basically export those files to Filmora. For example, I've got mine here, the green sci-fi flare, which I personally bought many years ago. And I'm just going to demonstrate to you that um, you can still use other effects that you purchased from somewhere and you can still use that in your editing process. Now, for example, I'm going to use the green sci-fi flare and I'm still going to drag this on top of my video. Okay, as you can see, um, it's already um, added. But as you can see, it's, it's not being transparent, so you couldn't see the video underneath it. So for you to adjust the transparency of the effect that you transported to Filmora, you might do it differently. So simply again, double click the effect that you put on top of video and then go to composting. And then once you click the composting, it will take you to the section here which says blending mode, just select normal. And what I want you to do is adjust opacity so you can reduce the opacity. And as you could see, the video is slowly slowly reappearing on your timeline. So once you play the effect that you applied or exported in Filmora, you can see the effect is already being applied. And that's it, we are done, as simple as that. That's how you apply the cinematic flare or light piece effect to your videos. I hope you find this video helpful. I'm going to say goodbye now and leave you with three different clips where I apply the cinematic flare or light leaks effect to my videos. Once again, this has been Clive and I shall see you on the next video. Bye.